Hi. Okay, so today I'm going to try to make some Be More Chill accessories to wear to the show when I go on June 19th. I'm going to make a Michael Mel t-shirt. I'm going to make some Jeremy Here inspired earrings and a Squip inspired choker. So let's see if I can accomplish that. Okay guys, so here's the update. I had a lot of trouble with this. I don't know if that's focusing at all, but you can see here all of the mess that happened and the trials and lots of errors and the letters didn't want to stay or just a lot of stuff. Look at all those letters. And I went through one sheet two sheet and finally I just used a thicker cardstock. I figured out what setting to put it on and then I used this blue holographic vinyl which is Jeremy's color so the final result looks like this. I'm pretty happy with it but some little pieces didn't cut quite right but they look good. They're super light, obviously, because they're made out of paper. And now I'm going to work on the shirt for Michael Mel. This is the sketch that I doodled out during work that I'm going to try to create with the Cricut cutter. Okay, so this did not go well. The machine totally chewed it up. I probably had it on the wrong setting, so I need to buy another one of these tomorrow and try again before I try to heat press it onto the shirt. I think I'm going to try to work on the squip choker now, since that shouldn't be too bad. Okay guys, I went to Michael's, I bought a whole bunch more red vinyl glitter, and I did it the right way this time, because apparently the holographic side is supposed to go down, but I forgot to mirror it, so it's a good thing I had to buy a 12 by 24 roll, but now my mat isn't sticky enough to hold stuff on, so I have to figure out how to clean my mat first. So I put another one down, but I forgot to hit mirror on it again, and I moved it over about an inch or two, so hopefully it doesn't overlap. If not, I have one more piece of vinyl that I can try this with. If not, this is just not going to happen, which would make me very sad. Nope, nope, it's, it's cutting right over it. Nope. Okay, shiny side down. Mirror. Pick that up. Mirror on. 
So the image is reversed. I'm going to hit continue. We're going to load it in. The last go. This is all I have left. Fingers. Here is the finished look. Here's the earrings and my t-shirt. And I'm pretty happy with how everything came out. And uh, I'm getting ready to go see Be More Chill. So, I just got back from New York. The footage you just watched was from Wednesday night, the 21st, and I'm not kidding when I say 15 minutes in, I was like, I need to go back and watch this tomorrow. So I got in line, I got rush tickets, and I went and I saw it again, and I was over the moon because I got to bring my friend with me, George was on as Michael and then Joe came out and said this. Announced with equal parts sadness and triumph that Be More Chill will be concluding its Broadway run on August 11th. Uh, that is in seven weeks from right now. Uh, and the reason that I am here to tell you all this is because there's nothing that I want more in the whole world than to have the next seven weeks of our run here uh, filled with audiences that are uh, as passionate and excited and celebratory as the audience we had tonight. Uh, and the peeps watching elsewhere. Uh, if you're someone who loves Be More Chill, if you're a fan, uh, please come back. Please come back and see us before August 11th. Uh, I'll be hanging out here all the time, uh, and I would love uh, I would love to see you. Uh, let's celebrate this weirdo musical. Uh, and if you're someone who has never seen Be More Chill, uh, come check us out. You know, it's uh, a show that I'm immensely proud of. I'm proud of our message, and I'm proud of the human beings who made the show, and I think it's something that's worth seeing. And I don't know what the next time that you're going to see a musical like this on Broadway. You've got seven weeks to see it, uh, so please come check us out. And you know, I said earlier that it's a miracle that we ended up here, and it certainly, certainly is. And uh, we're the first musical that has ever gotten to Broadway in the way that we've gotten to Broadway, uh, but we are absolutely not the last. And so come check us out and be part of the revolution. So, if you're a fan of Be More Chill, or you're a musical fan, or you're a fan of something different, and you have the ability, please go see Be More Chill.
Thanks for watching.